is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the May 5th, the terrific Thursday edition of today's Trader's Z Show. I'm your host, DB Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right, we do not make that one little two by four shift. It means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is gonna toss at us. Now today, you and I, we're gonna go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I do want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here, but more important than that, and that's this. During this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on it at 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, we've got you covered there, too. You can always let those fingers do the walking. That means go ahead and send me an email. Send it early and send it to Steve at TFNN.com. And inside the subject heading, if you'd be kind enough to put radio show question. Of course, in our Tigers, General, any ping. But I tell you what, I do prefer the private pings, but any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Thursday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. Right now, you got all the U.S. indices trading downside. Dow's off 877, S&P 127, NASDAQ 572, Russell 71. That's two and a half, three percent, four and a quarter, and nearly three and seven tenths percent to the downside. Semis are off 118, three and seven tenths percent there. You've got gold trading out at 1880, silver trading out at 2254, slight sweet crude 10782, natural gas is up 25 cents, trading at 866, and the 30 year Treasury down three ticks, trading out at one. 3704. Leading the charge dollar wise, the upside booking holdings, 89 bucks. EPAM Systems, 32 or 10%. Argenix is up 31 bucks or 10%. Albi Marl is up 8% or 17 bucks. Silicon Motion Technologies, $15 and 18%. Amazon down 165 bucks, 7%. Google down 107, 4%. Google uh, Mercado Libre off 88, 9%. Shopify, 65, 13%. Tesla down 7% or 65 buck runner. So we've got some movers and we've got some shakers. But let's go do the play by play right now because what we have here is consistency. And the consistency or uniformity, I don't know which one it is. Uh, what we have is uh, all four 60 minute time frame charts for the equity futures show what? TD nine count bottom patterns. So you've got your bottom signal in place. Now, the cool thing here is you're going to know shortly whether this is just a counter trend move. How are you going to know that? Well, first, if you take a look at the upper left hand panel, ES mini, in fact, I'll just expand it out. Then we're all looking at the exact same thing. What do we see there? Well, yes, we see that TD nine count bottom. But what we also see is a bullish structured profile. And we see two bars with two closes below the bottom of that profile. If this is only a counter trend move, Price will find resistance at 41.75. If we see a close above 41.75, I'm not talking 41.76. I'm talking a decent move above 41.75. Then we'll see a run to 42.06, and then around the 42.23 level. But again, if this is just the counter trend rally, a little bit of a relief from a plop plop fizz fizz, then 41.75 is the number, and that's the ES mini. If we take a look at the other three, what we can see out here is the NQ is not going to assist us as well. And the reason is because I don't have that same kind of structured profile. But we do have a, you um, know, and there's a, actually, we've got the same thing going on inside the Dow Equity Future contract and inside the Russell. So this is cool because you've got three of the equity future contracts. And if it's just a relief rally, then they're going to find resistance at the center of their bullish structured 60 minute profile. So that's 33,145 on the Dow equity future contract. So that's the level to be watching there. And inside the Russell 2000, the number is gonna be 1884. So really kind of a cool setup. 
Uh, this is a gift from the universe that's going to allow you to be able to interpret what the message of the market is. We know that we've gotten to the place because of all the 60 minute TD9 counts where the relief rally or some type of rally can unfold. So now it's a matter of watching the resistance levels out there. So again, not until you see closes above those three levels out there, does that mean that anything up that this move is anything other than just a bit of a relief. Now, I'm looking at the other instruments out here. Um, just to see if there's anything of use to you. And there is, and that's in the U.S. dollar index. The U.S. dollar index formed a TD9 count bottom. It did that at... It did it at uh, 5 o'clock this morning. We saw a nice little uh, rally. That rally found resistance where it should have, which was the top of the 60-minute profile at the 103.46 level. So here's what you know. If the U.S. dollar index is able to take out that low, that low, by the way, is... 102.81, then that would tell us about a move back to its breakout level, which is at the 102.29 area. So I don't know that there's much else for me to share with you. I mean, we can I can share a bunch of stuff with you with regard to the uh, uh, equity future contracts or anything that you want. We could go look at multi time frames, and it will help us to just kind of, uh, you know, buy some time, so to speak. But what I like to think that I've been able to do for you right now is identify the exact levels that you need to be watching, that you need to be observing to assist you with any of your intraday type trading out there. So I do hope that that helps you out. No questions yet that I say, I take that back. There is a question from Coda. And so let's go take a look at that question. I don't want to get behind on these things here. And Coda wants to take a look at uh, ticker symbol DRV. I know I should know that off the top of my head. I think that might be, nah, I'm not even going to think, I'm not even going to share. We're just going to let the uh, screen populate out here. And DRV is the uh, Direction Daily Real Estate Bear. And uh, so I don't know what the question is other than just DRV, please. So we'll let these screens get populated. What I can share with you is that uh, price is trading above the top of the daily profiles. So that is, you're trying to get long that. Okay, so your entry point here, if that's what you're asking, um, I would uh, right now use 35.52, which is the top of the daily profile that formed below price. So it's kind of a bullish, it's not kind of, it is a bullish message with the exception of what's going on inside the uh, weekly and the monthly charts. So I believe we've got the, yeah, we've got the white background charts up here. So it's this daily time frame. I'll try to expand this chart out for you do more than just that there we go and so you can sort of see this new profile down here peak kind of where my cursor is at 33 35 34 43 and 35 um 52. So that's a bullish message when profiles form below support. No topping pattern that's out here. But the ideal area to get long would be a pullback to the top of the profile and an oscillator and change line. So it's in the 3552 area. Let's look at the other charts. Weekly chart. Let's uh, go ahead and open this up, pull this back. What do you have? Um, is Peak G in the Tiger's Den? Because uh, if not, he must be on this chart here. Because that's what you've got now as a bottom. So this makes that seventh wave move. It does that down on uh, April, the week of April 22nd out there. So that's kind of a bullish move. And price right now, even though it's hard to see, is back inside its profile. I'll switch to the black background charts here for you momentarily. Uh, you got a topping signal on the 195, but price is held to support the oscillator change line. So. It goes like this, uh, Coda. I don't see yet a reason why price is going to pull back. It's at the top of that profile. But that's what I'd be waiting for as we speak right now. Steve Roach with TFNN. We'll be right back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education. Educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. So if you take a look at here's the eight panel chart for the ES mini and you'll see that uh, as, as far as these time frames are concerned, the only one that is assisting us is really the 60 minute time frame. Now, there's there's information we can glean from the daily chart, which is why I've got it up on our screen out here. So you're going to watch the close today. The price is able to close above 41.73, 41.74, which is the bottom of its daily profile. Then what we have right now is a good old fashioned consolidation with inside that profile level. 41.74 being support, really 40.90, 4.25. It should be the bottom of that area, but and then 43.23 being the uh, top of that uh, daily profile out there. So nothing else to assist us here. It's a 60-minute chart that really uh, you want to uh, pay attention to. And again, watch that 41.74 level. That is the uh, where if this is just a counter trend move, a relief rally, that's where you're going to find some resistance at. Uh, we've got a request uh, that is coming by email. So uh, let's uh, get over to the set of charts that this is going to take a look at. Uh, if you give me a moment, where is that? Here we go. And this is from uh, a AP out here. And he says, hey, Steve, volume coming in lighter. So he's looking at the XLE. So the, uh, okay, but it's moving higher and lower. But uh, that's fine. Uh do you see XLE retesting the 71-ish mark out there? So 71. So to get to 71, we're going to open up the daily time frame chart. Let me make sure I'm in the right spot. Yep, okay. So, well, well, first let's do this. If we take a look at the monthly chart, monthly chart is bullish. It's going to form bar number, or it appears that it will form bar number eight of a TD9 count. We know that a uh, bar eight, nine, or the bar following nine can be the high, but there's nothing right now to suggest that the high is going to form in the month of May. Not just yet, at least. We would uh, say that would be different if we get it. So as I say that, I now look to the weekly chart. So I go from a higher level to a little bit of a lower level to another lower level. And that's, in essence, how we unpeel this onion here. Well, it turns out that the XLE, the energy sector, still has a roads momentum indicator top. However, if price is able to close above 81.51, we're at 80.50 right now. If price goes up 81.51, Allen, that tells you a strong momentum move. Uh, that uh, price should continue to move higher. And uh, but otherwise, right now it's a neutral signal because you have price above that green oscillator and change line. Daily time frame, 
at least as of 120, has generated a bearish dark cloud cover candle. And that is with price moving higher to with less relative energy out there. And so, but, but at the same time, you're asking, can price get back to 71 bucks? But look what price has done. It pulled back to test and reject so far that green oscillator and change line. So that is the first level that price would have to close below to get back to 71. So if you're asking me right now, is there a signal that get back to 71? No. There's a potential because you've got a rose momentum indicator top. But the first level that has to fail is that green oscillator and change line. Then when that fails, doesn't guarantee you're going to get back to 71. It says you go to the next level of support. In the XLE, that next level of support is 77.31. If you can get below that, then you're looking at 74.15, and then below that, 72.05. So we're going to have to say 72.05 is going to be close to your 71 level. But that is the progression that you would need to take a look at. So that was the monthly. That was the weekly. That was the daily out here. As I look for intraday type signals, 30-minute, no reason for it to have topped out uh, where it did. It was wave number seven. Price pulls back, tests and rejects its breakout level, which was 79.25. Uh, so that's a bullish uh, type of a, a move out here. So right now, even though you've got some topping signal, topping pattern on the weekly, potential topping signal on the daily, it's really still neutral out here. That's the XLE. And the signals do not show... Uh, Alan, that price will get back to the 71 level. Not that they can't, but they've got to break through all these other areas. So I hope that that helps you out. And uh, thanks so much for writing in. Uh, let's see here. We've got John in Philly. John, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? Steve, I'm doing very well. Uh, thanks for taking the call. And uh, my Lord, the volatility up and down yesterday, today. Steve, Perfect uh, for a trader. I wanted to ask for your help. On the NAS, on the NDX, the NASDAQ 100, and the futures, and QM2, and the bond chart, what I'm specifically interested in, Steve, and this is just to be prepared in the event of um, wide price spread heading lower in the next day, weeks, that sort of thing, because yeah. bonds are already underway in that, uh, that dynamic. But I'd be interested, please, in your daily and weekly charts, the ones in which you show the lower FIP support levels combined with your A, B, C, D, and A, B uh, expanded C, D targets, you know, your one-to-ones, one, two, seven, two, one, six, one, eight. Uh, I, uh, I ask for this just to be prepared in the event that we get wide price uh, spread lower uh, to have some uh, benchmarks that we can pay attention to. So that's my request, and if I could, I'd take this uh, uh, discussion of yours off air, if I could, please. Yeah, no problem at all. I'll do my best to try to remember what you had uh, asked for and give you that information. If I don't give you something, just uh, type something to me in the Tiger's Den, and I'll make sure that I get to that. All right, John? So thanks so much for calling. Thanks, thanks so much. You you, you bet. So the uh, so where do we start? I'm going to start with the daily time frame. And the daily time frame for the NQ, uh, what you'll see is there you'll see a small A to B equals CD pattern. That completed. It completed with a three river morning star. That was a three candle formation. That three candle formation occurred on the trading days of April 26, April 27th, and April 28th. So the level of support that price needs to close below, not test, close below to negate that signal is 1280150. So that's the first level that must fail then for this next element to uh, take place, which is we would go to the weekly chart. So if we get a close below 1280150, that's going to signal that the weekly A to B equals CD pattern is kicking in. Now, last week's signal was actually a close, not below the swing point, but below a hammer candle from the trading session of February 21st out there. That low was 13.022. You close below the bottom of a hammer candle, it usually spells trouble out there. So if we get a second close below that today, and certainly if you get a second uh, week, this week, I should say, uh, John, if on Friday, tomorrow, by the way, tomorrow I'm going to record the show between 8 and 9. So for all of you that are listening in that can join me early, I'd appreciate that. Uh, of course, if you can't join us in, I'll make that show as pertinent as I can for the one to two o'clock slot but the one to one a to b equals cd on the weekly would get you down to 11 445 the 1.272 10 405 and the 1.618 90 82 those would be the price levels but before price can get to 11 445 we we also see that there is potential support at the bottom of its monthly profile 
And so that's really a level that has to be cracked. And that's at 12,532. So it's going to go like this, John. If we see a close below 12A to 150 on a daily time frame, that's going to trigger the A to B equals CD on the weekly. But before price can get down, to, get down to any of those price projections, price needs to contend with the support level on the monthly time frame, which is 12,532. As far as retracement areas out here, if I were just simply to go to the quarterly time frame chart, and we take a look at, you know, important levels of retracement. So, for example, for me, an important level of retracement would be off of the 2020 lows. So the March 2020 lows out there, which inside the uh, NQ, well, was I'm using my synthetic contract. So it was approximately 65, 76, 50. But if we go from that low to the high out here in November of 2021, we'll see that so far the NQ has only done a 0.382 retracement. Basically not much. And it's sitting at a profile support level, the center of its bullish structured quarterly profile. Um, the next level, if price closes below this area, would get us down to the 10468, 10763 area. Steve Roach with TFNN. And that there, uh, we'll be right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. TFNN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. And sorry about that if I confused the heck out of everybody. I was uh, speaking, uh, talking about one set of charts, and that was not the set of charts that were up on the screen. So here you go again. I'll do it relatively quickly. Uh, key level of support on the daily time frame for the NQ is at 12A to 150, the bottom of its three-river morning star that confirmed a buy the D point. If that fails... 
that would set up a potential A to B equals CD to the downside. That's a weekly chart, upper right hand corner, 11,445, target number one, 10,404, target number two. But before either of those targets can be met, price will have to take on the bottom of its monthly profile at 12,532. If 12,532 fails, well, then that uh, really signals a A to B equals CD pattern that we're looking at, um, which would again take us into that, uh, you know, 10,404, 11,44. It turns out on a quarterly time frame we have confluence that exists between about 10468 and 10763. So I think John that's the information that you were looking for and if not just go ahead and uh, uh, send me a message inside the uh, inside the Discord Tigers Den and uh, and I'll get that information to you. So sorry that I didn't show the correct charts the uh, first time around. We do have a request to go take a look at uh, Goldilocks out here for one of our listeners that is uh, listening in uh, while he is uh, driving out there. That is uh, George I believe. So George Let's take a look at Goldilocks. So that's, in fact, what we will do. So here's our four different time frames. And on our four different time frames, so you know what I need to do? I'm going to I'm going to change the uh, charts here right now because it will actually show um, what really took place with uh, gold at this stage of the game. Then I'll come back to these charts here and to see if there's some additional information. And uh, so what I want to show you is the following. And, and this is really going to be key for gold. I'm going to expand out the daily time frame chart. So what gold does not have on a daily basis is any kind of a bottoming signal. At least none of the patterns that I use are present to identify a bottom. That doesn't mean that price can't rally or anything, which it has. But in the case of gold, what it was able to do was get up and test and reject that red oscillator and change line. So that's not really a great situation for a gold. That could be signaling to us that it's preparing to get down to the 179160 level out there. So that's the first message. As long as we're looking at these charts out here, the, our, our eight panel set of charts, there is support between 1808 and 1838. That is the bullish structured area George of its weekly profile. As I look to intraday timing charts out here, the five hour still has a uh, nice uh, TD9 count, Rhodes momentum indicator signal. The uh, 240 has got a nice Rhodes momentum indicator signal, as does the 120 minute chart. And in those instances, price is just pulling back and testing support levels. So it's not as exactly as if gold has lost it all just yet. But what you don't like, George, is how price got up. It also got into the area. So that was a bullish structure daily profile center closer to the bottom than it is to the top and again when counter trend rallies if that's all that this move is because we were two days below the bottom of that profile out there where counter trend rallies end is at the center of that profile and that's at the 1897 level now the day's not over uh, perhaps there's uh, some type of rally that unfolds but right now, it's not. It's looking like what gold is at least going to do is go test the recent low from a couple days ago. And if, if it blows through that, then it's got its breakout level to go target. Again, that's in the 1791 area. Again, I'll put those black background charts up on our screen here momentarily. Uh, just so you can see those. There's no additional information. It's clearer to see the profile levels. Absolutely. So you've got the bullish structured on the daily bullish structured on the weekly and so that's the bastion of hope with regard to support is 1815 to 1845 so george thanks for uh the request and uh, uh that was george on the go in massachusetts i hope that that helped you out next question coming in from uh, mimi and uh, mimi wants to take a look at erf so since we are on the black background charts let's get over to our three time frames out here erf let's go see what in the heck that is even and uh, let me try to get to my other set of tools out here. That is Enter Plus Corporation, ERF. And the question is, please take a look at it for going long, and specifically the profiles. So you're trading above. I take that. Yes, you are. You are trading. So the profiles here, Mimi, on a daily time frame, the center is also the bottom. So that's your real strong level of support. That's 1183. But price trade above the top of the profile. That's at 1258. Price above the top of the weekly profile, 1153. Price is above the top of the monthly profile, which is 1282. You're 1297. So that's all you wanted. Then there you go. There you go. Now let's just uh, actually go take a look at the white background charts for Mimi. See if there's anything here that we need to make her aware of. And on the uh, the monthly chart, you have a confirmed TD9 count top. 
But with price just above the top of that profile, it's a neutral signal. The weekly time frame has a confirmed road momentum indicator signal. Price again is above the top of the weekly profile. It's a neutral signal. The daily time frame has a TD9 count top out here, but price is above the top of its profile, green oscillator and change line. That is a real neutral signal out there. So how do we so everything looks pretty good. If you're still in this position, I don't necessarily have reasons to tell you to jettison the position at all. Uh, if you were to see a close below 1258, that would then be a signal of price moving into the 1162 to 1183 level out there. So, Mimi, I hope that is all the information that you requested. If not, go ahead and write back. We'll be happy to get that information for you. Um, let me see here. Inside the uh, Tiger's Den, there was a question to take a look at. Coda, AMLP. So let's get that fired up here. AMLP. See what that is. Long been long for a couple of years. We'd like to add more. Where would be a good place to add? Okay, so excellent question. So we just got to wait here, Coda, for these charts to populate. AMLP. But I get that going on my other set of screens out here, and that is for the uh, Illyrian MLP ETF. Don't even have a clue as to what that is. But what we can say is that price right now is consolidated with inside its weekly profile. And it's a new profile, Coda, that uh, gives you support at 3688, 3688, I should say. Pipeline, thank you. 3688 and 4022. So that is your real range. Price above the top of the daily, above the, prop, uh, above the top of the monthly profile. So to a certain extent, that is a bullish signal. Um, on the monthly chart, you're actually trading above a TD9 count pattern. So longer term, so I see what you're saying. Longer term, this wants to get to 5085. You do have a confirmed wave number seven, letter G, a confirmed road momentum indicator signal, but price is consolidating inside that weekly profile. So we've got to go with neutral. The weekly says a potential place to add to a position would have been last week at the bottom of that profile, 3688. So that would be one level for you to consider. If you take a look at the daily time frame chart out here, Rhodes momentum indicator signal, price pulls back towards its breakout level, forms a hammer candle, but it's also a gap to the downside. So it means we're really kind of confusing, confused. Is, is that a bullish signal, a bearish signal? It's really both out here. But what we do know uh, is that uh, price above the top of the profile, that's bullish. It's above the green oscillator and change line, that's bullish. But because of the top, it's really neutral. So now it could be the top of that profile is an area for you to add. 39.14. So the areas that the daily would give you would be 37.69, 38.17, or in between that area, and then uh, 39.14, the top of the profile that's been tested the last couple of days. Let's take a quick peek out here and see if there's any additional information that is of value to CODA. You know, I don't have a real reason as to why price moved lower and on the 30-minute chart. In other words, no topping pattern. Maybe there's need to be equal CD, but what price did was it pulled back and it test that breakout level quota, 39.09. So again, those are the areas to consider adding to your breakout level. I would say a 30 minute chart is always good to use. Then you've got your uh, daily levels, your profile areas out there, and the weekly is the bottom of the profile. So we're going to stick with the 36.88 level right now. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We get back to this break. We're going to look at Apple for flip inside the Tigers game. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, 
is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. So we've got the uh, charts for Apple up on our uh, monitor here. This is for Flip Inside the Tiger's Den. So, you know, it's really the daily chart uh, flip that I'm focused on. If we open this uh, chart up here, here's what we know. We know that Apple completed a Gartley buy pattern, as a buy the D point. It was a perfect A to B equals CD that was completed with this bullish hammer candle. And actually it was even completed uh, before that with a bullish Three River Morningstar. So at the breakout level of 154.46 flip, we know for sure, with certainty, that buyers are trying to hold this level. What has transpired um, in the last few days is you've gotten a new profile. It's a bear structured profile. And right now, prices testing support. Support is where the bottom of the profile is. That's where the buyers are lined up. That's at 157, even Stephen. So they're trying to hold this. If, in fact, 157 holds, all we have is a bit of a consolidation with inside its daily profile between 157, even Stephen and 168.30. Price is testing that hammer candle. That is the uh, swing point. That is a swing point out there. The other swing point takes all the way back to that March, March 14th level. The price is not down there. And so it's testing this hammer candle. That hammer candle had 123 million shares that traded on that day. And right now you're at 71 million. So we're at 71 million. You've got uh, about two hours to go in the trading session. So it sounds like, mathematically speaking, it appears that Apple is testing that swing point on lighter volume. So the real rejection for Apple today would not be just closing above 157 even, Stephen. It would be closing above the top of that hammer candle. And the top of that hammer candle is 153.27. If you close above that, you'll have a rejection potentially of a, of a swing point on lighter volume where you've already got it confirmed by the D point. And that says the volatility continues and Apple tries to make its way back to 165 to 168. That's the message from the daily time frame. We take a look at the uh, weekly time frame out here. I don't have anything to change what we just took a look at, other than this could be week number two below the bottom of its weekly profile, and then could signal could signal a move to 143.16. In order for that to happen, and this is the cool thing, Flip, is the A to B equals CD pattern has to fail. Price has to close below that hammer candle from four days ago. Is there anything else out here that Stevie sees that's worthwhile for us to look at? There's not anything else that I see on these charts here for Apple to assist us. So, Flip, I hope that helps you out with regard to Apple. Uh, it'll be an interesting close that will help to assist you with regard to what its intent is. The uh, next question was to, uh, I'm going to switch the screen. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'll leave that screen up. 
and I'll go here. The next question came in from the Tiger's Den, and it was posted earlier. I wrote it down. Thankfully, I wrote it down. Just remembered that I'd written it down. It's ticker symbol CWH, and CWH is Camping World. And Camping World, so here I can't, we're, I've got multi time frames out here, but uh, we've got to do them one at a time. So Camping World has what? Lord knows. Uh, an A to B equals CD pattern. So it has a buy the D point. Price above the daily profile. Camping World should go target 33.90. That's what the daily chart is communicating to you and I. What's the week? Whoops. Sorry about that. Stevie needs to remember exactly where he's at. Go down to the bottom left, Stevie, not upper right. Weekly chart for Camping World, TD9 count bottom. That formed last week. Price is above its oscillator and change line. Back inside its profile, you'd like to see this stay above those levels. So 28.12 is the area you're looking for price to close above. That's going to suggest a run up to 33.30. So you've got a bottom on the daily, bottom on the weekly inside of uh, Camping World. What do we have on the monthly chart? Well, we don't have a bottom pattern with the exception we have price pulling back to its bullish structured monthly profile. And that is a key support area, 2526. So if you're asking, is Camping World a buy? Well, it most certainly is a buy. The question is, is there any kind of retracement maybe that you can uh, look at, uh, look into? So the 30 minute chart out here shows us below profiles and below the oscillator and change line with no pattern. Could be an A to B equals CD to the downside. That would form out there. Uh, don't know for sure, but that would be an area to consider taking a long position. Not seeing anything different on the 60-minute chart. The 120-minute chart out here has a TD9 count top. So this says watch 2864. 2864, if price gets below that, then your buy range is between 2736 and 2830. So Camping World looks pretty good. Looks like you're going to get a gift of a retracement. The question is just trying to find the pattern where that retracement completes for you to enter that position. So I hope that helps you out, and thanks so much for writing in. Let's go to... Um I'm not sure who we have on the line, but uh, I know that there is somebody on the line. So, uh, could you introduce yourself? Hello? Hi, this is Mike from Portugal. Oh, hey, Mike, how you doing? Good. Okay, I didn't know if I was up next or not. Yeah. Hey, uh, SMH looks like it's got a uh, a higher low compared to yesterday versus the NQ, which looks like we made a lower low. So, hopefully, that's a good sign. So what the SMH is, uh, so the SMH has that nice three drive to a bottom pattern out here, folks. And uh, the uh, the chart here, if you take a look at those little yellow, um, I'm not sure, uh, distance uh, markers out here. The first drive took place on January 28th. The second drive took place on March 14th. And the third drive took place on April 26th. What you were looking for there at April 26th was some type of bottom signal. What we got was that Three River Morning Star. So that's a beautiful thing. And right now, price just consolidating inside that daily profile on uh, Mike charts not showing oh son of a gun sorry about that so uh, sorry to have you call from Portugal and then me to show away uh, tell you what it's doing and then not show you the screen but now we've got the screen here uh -huh, that's okay. and, and and so there's your three drive to a top a bottom pattern and price just consolidating inside that profile now the swing point that it's really trying to contend with, and it hasn't gotten down there, was from April 27th. There was 7.4 million shares, and you're exactly correct. It's pulling back with light volume, only 4 million shares. So, you know, I don't see anything here on the daily chart to suggest anything other than it's just a, you've got the bottom signal. Uh, it's in a consolidation pattern with inside its profiles. And if it did close below 228.55, that would then signal, Mike, that we're looking at 202.92 as its next price projection area out here. That's not the message right now but that certainly is something to be watching for uh today and tomorrow what what information can i provide to you on the smhs no that's all good i was just pointing out it looked to me like that might be a positive indicator going along with your 60 minute tv9 count on the four uh, indices that could uh, give us a, a, a bright light towards uh, higher prices uh, a rebound, at least on a temporary basis, uh, to reshort. Ah, excellent. So the interesting thing, yeah. So the interesting thing on the reshort idea. Um, I'm gonna just change the screens here. So I don't know if you caught the opening or not, but here 
what we've got are the 60-minute time frame charts for the ESNQ, Dow, and Russell 2000. Mike, each of them have TD9 count bottoms. So I think you'd mentioned the 60-minute chart. So, yeah, you, you were listening. But the question is, is the reshort area on the ES between 41.58 and 41.74? Was the reshort area 12.950 on the NQ? Is it between 33.035 and 33.145 on the Dow? And is it between 1876 and 1884 in the Russell? And if the answer to those questions were, yeah, those were where the counter trend rallies end, then we're going to see lower lows out here. But the cool thing is, because we've got those TD9 counts on the 60 minute chart, if those patterns fail, that helps answer our question. Hey, Mike, hold on through this break. We'll come back to you and finish the show with Mike in Portugal. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. We're on the line with Mike in uh, Portugal. And let me just give you the figures here, Mike. And uh, that's this. If the ES mini were to close below 41.1475, that's going to signal a move down to 40.69. If price were to close below the NQ of 12.796.50, 12.766 is its target. 32.728 is the key level on the Dow. It closed below that, 32.450. The Russell 2000, 18.50.10. It closed below that, we're off to 18.41.40. So we're sort of in a zone where I'm not really sure what the market's intentions are. You've got, as you pointed out, light volume pullback inside the SMHs. That's a positive. Um, and you've got these TD9 count patterns on the 60-minute chart. Right now, we just have to kind of wait and see. Any questions about what I provided, uh, the information I provided to you so far? No, and I want to thank you and also uh, Brent from California and uh, John from Philadelphia and Garl and all the other people that contribute. They do a great job. They all have great uh, contributions and things to say. 
and I enjoy listening. Thank you. Well, well, you're welcome. Thank you for saying that. And so everyone wants to know, um, so what's it like in Portugal? You moved there from Sarasota. So this used to be Mike from Sarasota. Been in Portugal now for how long? Uh, since January. Since January. And and what's your take? Uh, my take is that uh, it's less expensive to live. I'm taking advantage of the uh, drop in the euro and enjoying the euro analysis and U.S. Uh, dollar analysis you do as well. Um, I'm doing a lot of uh, hiking in the morning. So I get out and get exercise, get sunshine in the morning, and then at 2.30 p.m. our time, the U.S. markets open, and I sit down and have some lunch and uh, watch the opening, and it's a great uh, routine. Well, that, that, that sounds like a wonderful life, and it seems to me like, so the euro's kind of at this precipice here, but over time, uh, hold on to those good old U.S. dollars, it's going to be even cheaper for you over there. But uh, right now, I think the euro's sitting at a level of, a uh, key level of support. We'll see if it's able to uh, fend that area off. So, Mike, thanks so much for calling in. Good to speak to you, and uh, we'll hopefully we'll hear from you again. That is Mike in Portugal formerly of Sarasota. Folks, stay tuned. Your favorite polar bear, David White's up next. After that, Tom O'Brien, he'll take us on home. And I'll be back with you tomorrow, sharp, early, 8 a.m., sharp out there. Please listen in if you can. Take care. Have a great day.